What is going down, you guys? We are about two, three hours away from kickoff for my Minnesota Vikings taking on the Philadelphia Eagles for the NFC Championship. Anyway, repping my team. Gonna support my team. If we win, cool. If we lose, I'm gonna go on with my daily life. I want to start out this video by saying this is not in any way directed towards all Eagles fans, towards all Vikings fans, towards all Patriots fans, or towards all Jaguars fans, or towards all sports teams fans in general. This is just a kind of a rant video about stupid people. Now, since the Vikings beat the Saints last week, and we knew we were going to Philadelphia. There have been a lot of newscasts about advisories to Minnesota fans traveling to Philly for the game. And it's not only the news, but even travel agents are advising that if you're going out to watch the Vikings-Eagles games, do not be wearing Vikings colors or merchandise or anything like that. Because apparently a lot of Philly fans like to pick fights with opposing team's fans, whether it be at the stadium, the bar, whatever. Okay, I have never seen it have to be like headlining news. I I know it happens. It happens everywhere. I spent two and a half years being a bartender. I've seen the guys that have a few drinks and they want to try to pick a fight with anybody for any reason. Yes, being an opposing sports fan is a reason for them. But I've never, like, thought I'd see where it has to literally be advised on the news by travel agencies and all this other stuff. So, I mean, that's kind of... I know it's not all Philly fans. I know it's going to be a select few of you. But, I mean, come on. Just represent your sports team. Enjoy watching their games. If they win... Be happy. If they lose, whatever. You are not a... How does it affect you in any way? Like, seriously. Like I said, Vikings going to be playing the Eagles today. If the Vikings win and are going to the Super Bowl, I'm going to be happy. If they lose, whatever. It was a hell of a season. I'm going to go to bed tonight. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to be with my wife. I'm going to be with my kids. I'm going to be having a normal life still. People get way too into it. And I understand being happy and loving your sports, but it comes to a point where it's just pathetic if you think you have to fight people because they like a different sports team than you. Now, second thing. This thing, it doesn't make me mad, but it's just so stupid that I have to talk about it. So, apparently... Some Eagles fans surrounded the hotel that the Vikings were staying at last night and decided to blow air horns all night. Yeah, blow air horns all night. Okay, well, I understand there's going to be certain people that think it's funny. I'm going to be understand that there's people that are just not going to believe it, but that is a actual article I read this morning and like do you either a have that little bit like that little faith in your team to where you think you're helping them out by screwing around with the other team or do you just like literally think you're <sighs> I don't even know like do you just have that little of a life where you don't have a wife or a girlfriend or kids or family or friends to where instead of going to the bar, having a beer or two, or spending time with your wife and kids, you're going to just stand outside in the cold and blow an air horn at a hotel all night. Like, I understand that no matter where you go, there's going to be fans trying to screw with other teams, even in the games. That's why you boo. That's why you make noise when in NBA when they're shooting free throws. You try to distract them. Yes, I understand that. But you also know... That if the Eagles win today, which like I said, both teams, both Vikings and Eagles, fantastic seasons. Both teams deserve to be where they are right now. 
you know, whoever wins, wins. They were the better team today. Whatever. But if the Eagles win today, uh, those same fans realize that the Eagles will be coming to Minnesota to be playing in the Super Bowl, right? And aside from that, yes, Minnesota fans know about this crap. And yes, just like you guys, there's going to be a handful of them that are going to be doing the same crap. That's stupid. And it's going to piss you guys off. And if the Eagles, if they make it to the Super Bowl and lose, oh, well, they were distracted all night by air horns. Oh, I'm sure if the Vikings lose today, there's going to be fans saying that too. But the same people doing this crap are going to be the same ones bitching if it happens to their team. And you got to look too. It could be that much worse because, you know, I don't condone any of this crap that's going on. But you got to look too, Vikings fans. A, they're going to know you did it to their team if you come here. They're going to know that it was advised not to be wearing your team's colors when you were here because they'll be getting their asses kicked. And they're going to want redemption, some form of redemption for screwing with their team. And they're going to blame it, the loss, on that. And they are going to want to bring it back a whole lot higher. And like I said, the people doing it are going to be the ones bitching when it happens to their team. So, I mean, like I said, I know it's not all Eagles fans. It's not going to be all Vikings fans if it comes to that. It's not going to be all of any team's fans. You get the handful of idiots that just take the shit way too seriously, even though it affects their life in no way, shape, or form, aside you get to see your team play one less game this year. But, I mean, show a little class. Let people represent who they want to represent. Have faith in your team to get the job done without trying to screw with the other team. You want to screw with the other team? Go and buy tickets to the game and boo the shit out of the Vikings if you want. Anyway, guys, I've been recording for over seven minutes now. It went way longer than I thought, but you get the gist. Uh, you know, Eagles fans, good luck to you today on your team. Vikings fans, go Vikes. Good luck to us, too. Anyway, guys, we will catch you later. Enjoy the game, and take her easy. Peace.